with percentage. What is it and how would you use it? When you set the widget to 100% width, as you know, that allows it to be able to span the length of the browser. I'm sorry, the width of the browser. It makes it so that when the browser is resized, it can still span the entire length of the browser. So it basically, it makes it responsive. What the width percentage inside the widget does is it allows you to adjust the size of the store within the widget, but still allow the widget to remain responsive. That probably was even more confusing, so I'll give you an example of how it could be used. So let's say that you have, let's say over here on the far left, you have a menu. Oops, that's way too small of a menu. Okay, so let's say that this is your menu. If you had a menu like this uh, with any other widget, this is what would happen. So then the only thing that you would be able to do is you would have to cut down the size of the widget to be 960 or something so that it allows it to not overlap and still even that isn't small enough. So you put it around there. And that would be the way to almost guarantee that the menu wouldn't overlap the widget. And in doing that, it also makes it so that it's not at all responsive. This is where the width percentage can be used. So then let's say that you change the width percentage. Let's move it down to 70. It moves the store inside while keeping the widget at 100% width. So now watch what happens. And watch when you expand it. See? Isn't that cool? So that's what the width percentage does.